the bait of choice for Groper. Just the simplicity of the fishing is what appeals to me. Just fishing with a bait. Simple running ball sinker. That's all you need. And sit back, reflect. Look like a drone on me too. That's weird. Look at that. There you go. I've got someone watching me on the drone. That's a bit weird. It's uh twenty-ninth of February. It's actually a leap year, believe it or not. So it's pretty funny. The only thing that's uh, not real funny is that as of tomorrow, the 1st of March, just, just letting you know, it's the 29th of February again, if you can see that. Someone's watching me up there on the drone. But, so as of tomorrow, the 1st of, uh, 1st of March, um, there's a ban on catching groper. And... That's really upsetting because the ban's not based on any sort of science or research. Sensationalism and hysteria in the media. And just ill-informed, knee-jerk reactions have resulted in this ban, which I'm really upset about. I'm probably going to have to unpack it a bit when I'm a bit less emotive. Um, so, yeah, I'll... Uh, come back to you where's that drone up there yeah that drone someone's uh, taking an interest into my fishing well I am on YouTube so I I can only assume that's a subscriber up there Give us a wave back, champion. Can only assume that's a subscriber. Yep, another one. Oh geez, yep, where's the where's the drone gone? Oh, I don't know. Look. Another groper. They just fight so hard. Look, I still haven't dealt with that one. It's a double hookup, another brown. Like I don't know about you, but like that they're, they're, they're just they're, it's more than abundant. They're actually prolific in New South Wales. I've heard this sort of nonsense about oh look Tasmania and Victoria being fishing for blue groper but it's a thing called population distribution and that's at the limit of their distribution here in New South Wales these things are absolutely prolific look at that beautiful fish off she goes The other thing I've heard is this thing that about, oh, they're the state fish, you know, they're blue. Look, that, that's not a reason to uh, impose a, a ban like this. I mean, last time I looked, we harvest sustainably the coat of arms. 
other fish are blue do we ban the uh, tusk fish or oh, the drones back the drones back I don't know maybe I'll end up in the paper tomorrow a bit more sensationalism perhaps someone fishes for groper on the 29th of February yeah that'd be uh, that'd be a good story I actually couldn't have scripted this any better to be honest with that drone there it's a perfect location for a drone to be filming me catch groper Looks like we're having a, a camera stare off. Anybody that spent any time diving in New South Wales, particularly, well, I can only speak for the mid north coast, there's groper numbers like you've never seen. So to have a knee-jerk reaction based on media sensationalism and hysteria from someone doing the wrong thing is is not what it's about now i've got another one here <laughs> yep this one's better this could be oh yeah yep yeah it's just like well this is this is the third fish in <laughs> yeah not long okay <laughs> so it's still brown so what that means is this there's, what that means, like that's a big brown, that means that there's even bigger blues down there because they don't change blue, you know, until the, 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 the males, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, I'm a bit, I don't know, just a bit rattled by the whole situation, but anyway, where's Oh, I wish the drone was here to see this one because, yeah, another one. So, so that's, uh, you know, you're actually allowed, like the current, I well, actually support the current bag limit. So you're allowed two, one, one, uh, one over 60 this one's not quite over 60 i could probably keep this one if i wanted to i've already kept one but you're allowed two so minimum size 30 centimeters and i'll be honest with you i think that's i think that's too small 30 centimeters you don't get enough fillets off it look at this thing this is uh here we go go mate here she goes if we're, if we're searching for a political compromise again not based on research which i'd much r rather be basing decisions on but a, a political compromise so we have some middle ground you know everyone's a win-win i'm on again here i think uh i think i could be yeah like what about oh, i'm getting touched there what about a um you know a slot limit like the flatties you know, even if you lowered the, the catch limit to to one per person, minimum size 40 centimetres, and have a maximum, put a 70 centimetre maximum on it. You know, if you're looking for a political compromise, what about that? What have we got here? Big red rock cod. There's another one for you. What happens when we come out here after the 29th of February chasing red rock cod on the inshore reefs and you actually accidentally catch a groper as bycatch. Yeah, these things are pretty good eating, I'm told. Well, I don't know what happens then. Anyway. Righto. We're back. I've calmed down a little bit now. Uh, not completely but I've, i have calmed down a bit yeah it wasn't a stitch up that uh that drone came in actually just as i started fishing um like i said i'm not a drone pilot but 
I don't know what sort of etiquette there is out there, but that just seemed a little bit intense. Um, and all I can suggest is perhaps they were uh, they were a keen subscriber to the channel. Um, if you're watching this and you could get me some of that footage, that'd be fantastic because it was uh, you know potentially one of the last scraper I caught. Um, and yeah, never had the, never had some footage on the drone. So yeah, that was that was an interesting uh, experience. So what I uh, ended up keeping was the one, as I said. It's a, it's a brown groper. Um, brown groper. Uh, it's um, it's a fairly big brown. It's, it's it's right on it's right on the 60 centimetre mark, as you can see there. Hence why um, I only kept the one fish. Make decisions on facts, not emotions. And yeah, we should be able to enjoy this, um, you know, for future generations because there's something I've always valued fishing with my family. Um, as you can see in my videos, we don't kill everything. We don't, you know, keep every groper we catch. Um, we let most of them go. The vast majority are released. Uh, yeah, what more can I say? We do a lot of diving. There is so many groper on the mid north coast of New South Wales. Um, is, is people need to put a mask on, go for a dive, and just see for yourselves that they are not in any sort of danger from being fished out.